Okay. Hey guys, this is Simon Sage from Into Mobile. We're looking at a f new Ford Sync emergency service that's uh, coming soon to Europe and already available in North America. Hey Ed, how's it going? Good, Simon. How are you? I'm pretty good. So, uh, what, what have you got here? So today we're showing a, a feature called Emergency Assistance that we're bringing to Europe, and it's based off of our feature uh, called 911 Assist that we've had in, in North America for uh, for a number of years. Essentially, what it does is, in the case of in the event of an accident, it actually will call emergency services for you. But Europe poses some unique challenges with all the languages and, and the border situations that we have. So we actually uh, developed what we think is a, a, a unique solution. We're able to identify where the vehicle is located based on uh, using the GPS module as well as the cell tower that the phone is connected to. And based on the vehicle's location, we actually send the appropriate uh, message to the operator in the appropriate language. So for an example, um, uh, for example, if you're say in the UK and you drive your vehicle in the UK, you would normally communicate with your vehicle using English. Let's say you uh, went across the channel and went on a vacation into France and you happen to get in an accident. The system would actually uh, would, would, would operate such that it would tell the occupant uh, that a crash has occurred and it's about to call emergency services in English. Uh, and then when it makes the call to the emergency operator, the system knows you're in France. So it would actually communicate that message uh, in French. And the message really consists of two key items, one being that a crash has occurred in a, in a vehicle, and two being the, the specific and precise GPS location of the vehicle. So even if the occupant and the operator cannot speak, you can send, get the, the, the immediate help that's needed sent to the, uh, to the occupant. Very cool. So you've got a testing rig to simulate the crash and everything here, right? That's right. So we're going to show you actually that exact example. So imagine uh, you're, uh, you're uh, in a vehicle that's set for English. And uh, we just had an accident. So the, the sync system is paired up with the phone over Bluetooth, right? The sync system is paired up through the phone for Bluetooth to make phone calls, but all the intelligence is on, on the system itself. It gives uh, a few seconds of an opportunity for the customer to cancel the, the uh, 112 call if they so choose. And, and here, oh, that's the issue. Here we're actually calling a cell phone. We get a little bit of trouble if we call a uh, emergency operator. Emergency operator first before entering the line. Please wait. So that's the message that the occupant would hear. Mm -hmm. So we're actually going to call the number here. There we go. And now you'll hear the message that the operator would hear in France. And so the, the GPS unit is built into sync, not, and it's not using the, uh, the cell phone's GPS, right? That's correct. It's using the vehicle's GPS, which is more precise than the uh, phone's GPS. Cool. Nice. Yeah, so the, that crosses all, all sorts of language barriers if you're visiting countries where you don't necessarily speak the language, right? Absolutely. And, and the way we're, we're launching this is actually going to be available in over 30 countries. Uh, if you look at other emergency services are only available in, in less than half of that. And because we're calling the emergency operators directly, we're able to offer this feature to our customers for free for the life of the vehicle, even for secondary users, secondary owners of the vehicles. Very cool. So th this is already available in North America. When can we expect it in Europe? So it's going to be available next year in Europe, and it's going to add to the over 2 million vehicles that we have in North America that have this feature. Excellent. Thanks a lot, Ed. Thank you.